Hey everyone, Sally here. So, um, just got a bit of footage from last night, the race to test day at Willowbank. Um, it's a pretty good night. Um, mixed results for me. The car wasn't, uh, I didn't, was it, it was down a mile an hour and I wasn't running the times that I, I was expecting it to be run, or running. Uh, it feels like I've gotten the flat spot uh, out of it from down low. So see the pants, it did feel better, but when you actually looked at the time slips, uh, it was down on mile an hour, and uh, the times, they, they weren't uh, any improvements uh, to previous tunes. So races test night itself was, it, was a good event. It was um, sort of lowish numbers. The gates opened earlier, so you had plenty of time to sort of set up and make changes. It was a lot less stressful and a lot less rushed than the normal testing tune. So I was a bit worried about taking a nostalgia car to an event like that because there were some heavy hitters there, but all in all, it was a good night and I'd definitely do one again. I think it was worth the money. Uh, Brian came out with us in the Falcon powered hamster. Uh, he got two runs in and then uh, destroyed the clutch in his car, which is the second time he's done that. But um, he'll get that thing um, back together and back on the road pretty quickly. Crowbin's our next event, so I'm actually thinking I may have hurt the camshaft in the car. It seems possibly like a valve timing uh, issue, um, and I've noticed it takes a substantial amount of time to get all to the top end in this car. So there's a few things I, I want to look at. I'll video them and put videos up on them and what I sort of find out. But yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy the footage of last night. Like I said, wasn't the most successful night, but um, it's been 12 months since I've been in the car, so it's good to just get a bit of seat time and get used to driving it again. Um, ended up cutting some good light, so by the end of it, I was getting the hang of it. Um, like I said, see the pants, car felt good, but the last run, which you'll see, sort of went a bit pear-shaped and think I could have hurt the, hurt the engine, possibly camshaft, but yeah, we'll dig in and see what the go is, and hopefully get the thing fixed and ready for Crowbin, which is the next event in the end of February. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe if you feel like you'd like to and like to see what we get up. Um, hopefully I'll have another video coming up soon on the wagon. Tim's been cracking away on that, so we'll go check that out. Uh, but yeah, hope you liked the footage of last night. Get your merch, overtakinglane.com.au. Yeah, hope you liked the video. Cheers, guys. Sorry, one last thing, and probably um, the most important thing, big shout out to my mates Greg and Troy for coming out last night and giving us a hand, having a couple of mates come out um, to help you out on nights like that, just make everything so much easier and stress free. So um, Greg and Troy, thanks boys, legends, looking forward to the next one, Corralbin. Let's get this thing sorted out, fixed up and back out there. See you then, cheers.
for watching. Like and subscribe.